Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Charlene and I'm the owner of The Mindfulness Journey, which is a mindfulness meditation company filled with mindfulness meditation practices, skills training, some therapeutic um, strategies put into place all in order to help you learn how to get out of your head and into your life. Now, I started learning mindfulness um, several years ago after a traumatic uh, motor vehicle accident. I was, I was hit by a bus. I sustained a traumatic brain injury in the accident, and I ultimately ended up undergoing four neurosurgery procedures in the span of a year and a half. Between surgeries three and four, it actually removed for the second time a piece of my skull about the size of my hand that was out for one year. <laughs> and it was during that time that I first started learning about mindfulness, because as you can imagine, I had a lot of anxiety and overwhelm, stress, depression, panic attacks, PTSD. I had a lot that I was sitting with. And mindfulness helped me navigate my way out of that. But it did so much more. And that's why I started this business. I remember there was this moment in when I was practicing with my teacher. And I just knew, why doesn't everybody know this? Like, why are we not teaching this in schools? Everybody should learn mindfulness. But also this knowing that I need to teach this. And so when the medical side of things ended, that's exactly what I did. It took me about a year. I went and I trained to teach the Mindfulness-Based Stress Reduction Program. And I did this as I was finishing up my master's in counseling psychology, which I started in that year while I was waiting for my fourth neurosurgery. Because who doesn't want to start a grad school program while they're waiting for a neurosurgery? With like, at this point, I can't believe I did it, but at the time, it made a lot of sense. So this work that I do now combines that teaching. I mean, I worked in the mental health field prior to the accident. That's what I was doing. So all of that experience, plus my undergrad, grad school training, plus my training as a mindfulness-based stress reduction program, all of it is put together inside of what I teach inside the mindfulness journey, because we all need to learn how to get out of our heads. And the thing, as I said, in addition to helping me navigate um, life with a brain injury, what mindfulness helped me to do was to go from being that shy girl who couldn't talk to anyone to actually being able to speak to people. I can now make small talk with like the cashier, the barista, whoever, without getting agitated. Before I would be sitting with friends and that voice inside my head would be like, oh, should I say this? And I don't know, because maybe that might sound stupid, right? You, we all know that voice. And mine was constant. And it was so constant that I would often just sit there in silence because I would be too busy thinking about should I say this? Should I not say this? That I didn't say anything. So it impacted every aspect of my life, my relationships, my work, um, meeting new people, like you name it, it impacted everything. Whether I traveled, whether I didn't, whether I did this activity, whether I did this, right? Every aspect of my life was um, affected by this voice. And mindfulness helped me learn how to shut it off, how to not listen to it, I had to just be, I know, talk to people. I've made so many new friends. I started, I started a business. Um, I teach workshops in person and online. I've traveled on my own. On my last trip um, in 2019, I went to Costa Rica, knew nobody there at this um, retreat, went, interacted with people, made friends, and one of the other women that attended the retreat, she and I went off for the day together to do an excursion. I mean, shy Charlene would never have um, gone on this trip because she didn't know anyone, let alone manage to go off and like do all these um, different activities. 
And this is the thing that I try to get people to understand about mindfulness. It's not just about meditating. That's a huge component to it, but it's so much more. And that's why I started the mindfulness journey. So as part of my channel, you will, so when it comes to content for my channel, you'll be getting some meditations because as I said, mindfulness and meditations kind of go hand in hand, but you'll also be getting teachings. Some of it is from my experience um, and training as a mindfulness teacher. Some of it, some of the stuff that I learned as a psychotherapist, some life stuff, right? You're going to hear some stories um, about my life and how I use these skills that I'll be sharing to navigate my way through it. A little bit about me, in addition to what I've already shared, I'm a huge believer in self-coaching. I'm a psychotherapist, but I'm also in therapy. You can probably imagine that I would be in therapy after what I shared at the start. But I read, I read every morning. I'm reading personal development books, self-help books, business development books, right? I'm constantly learning and trying to grow. And as part of this, I share tools with people so that they can start their own self-coaching self journey. Because it's not enough to just listen to what I have to say, listen to these practices. You got you to gotta do them yourself. I believe in doing what matters. I believe in learning how to recognize what actually matters to me, to my life. And I'm saying me, but like this will help you to learn what matters to you, right? Listening to my gut, following it. It's a scary thing to do, but it has ultimately never steered me wrong. But learning how to hear it took skills and I will help you learn how to tap into your own voice. I also believe in learning how and designing a life that you love. I mean, I'm here. I mean, I'm here with like more medical issues than I ever thought I would ever have in my life. A traumatic brain injury, constant pain, chronic illness, this, that, and the other. I have a literal team of doctors who um, are constant, well, not constantly in my life, but pop in and out. I have, you know, a bandage on my head. I'm awaiting what will ultimately be my sixth surgery, the four neuros, one scalp flap rotation, which is basically where they took my scalp and they did this and whatever they're going to do to help this. So this, um, the scalp flap rotation was supposed to fix this. And that was a year ago. And it didn't. Um, yeah. So more surgery. But in and amongst all of that, the concussion, the brain injury, the migraines, the pain, the illness, the fatigue, amongst all of that, I've learned how to use mindfulness to create a life that I love. And so I'll be sharing things in this, like, on this channel about my journey to help you on your journey into um, designing a life that you love. So thank you for watching. I hope you liked, hit like on this video, subscribe um, to my channel. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Like I said, my, I'm Charlene and my business is The Mindfulness Journey. I will be sharing tools, practices, strategies, and skills to help you get out of your head and into your life. Bye.